There was more vertical madness at the Red Bull Romaniacs Day 3 off-road. Six-time Romaniacs winner Graham Jarvis and 2019 champ Manny Lettenbickler battled for the top spot. Each taking fastest times at numerous checkpoints. Lettenbickler slowed down early in the morning and Jarvis took a time penalty for briefly going off track but the Brit was still able to take the day nearly three minutes faster than the young German. Mario Roman held his own and grabbed third place. In the overall, Jarvis took the lead back from Lettenbickler, but he is only 25 seconds behind. The battle for first is on. Wade Young sits further back with less than a minute over Alfredo Gomez, so we might see a fight for third as well. Time for the big finale at Red Bull Romaniacs. It's cold and wet in the Carpathians on the final day of racing, making for slippery conditions. 25 seconds, so it's nothing, you know, I've uh, managed just right behind, he's starting three minutes behind. So, last few days I've kind of struggled to get into it early on, so I'm going to have to really push early on, I think, so try and just stop him catching me, but, you know, he's, he's fast and uh, he's going to be pushing. It's going to be a wet day, but we're going to give our best just to have a really good day again. Um, I'm sitting a little bit behind Graham, so I'm trying to catch him, starting out second, so... Hopefully we are going out um, with the top step off the podium. The final track is 110 kilometers of vertical madness. Riders will be hoping to leap ahead in Valley of the Frogs and weave through the wooded trails of Hug the Tree. Finally, one will be named King of the Carpathians. So we're here at the start of off-road day four. Red Bull Romaniacs vertical madness. Graham Jarvis out from today. He's got a small lead, but it's all going down to the wire today. It's going to be amazing racing. Let's see who can take it to the finish line. Graham Jarvis won yesterday, so he's first to ride. Navigating through the slick fall leaves could be an issue. He's followed by Lettenbickler and Mario Roman. Alfredo Gomez. Wade Young and Billy Bolt are in pursuit. Right off the bat, Jarvis is riding like he's hungry for that record-breaking seventh Romaniacs win. But then... He's down! He's down! You right, dude? What about your kickstart? Now. This crash allows Lettenbickler to jump into first and take an extensive lead over Jarvis. Even with an arm injury, Billy Bolt is able to take the top time through checkpoint one. But no matter how well he rides today, it looks like there's too much of a time gap between him and third place Wade Young to make podium. In the battle for third, Young and Gomez are neck and neck. Gomez gets best time at checkpoint three, but Young is still narrowly ahead in the overall standings. Front runners Lettenbickler and Jarvis battle. The British pro is doing his best to try and make up for lost time. Then, 
Manny bails. Can Jarvis take back the lead? As the pack arrives at the service point nearly three hours into the race, it's still Letton Bickler on top, Jarvis in second, and Young only seven seconds ahead of Gomez in the overall standings. The riding is pretty fast, I would say. Me and Graham, we are nearly riding together again, and I'm trying just to stay with him. But he's riding really good in the uphills today, so the afternoon brings, brings a little bit of hard technical stuff in, so I'm trying my best to stay with him. I'm feeling comfortable with my bike. I feel like I'm riding good. Um, but yeah, like I said, the guys are really pushing hard today, so it's the last day, so I'm going to leave everything out there. Coming out of the service point, Manny guns it. He extends his lead over Jarvis with the best time at checkpoint six. The silent assassin is riding fast again, but he'll need a miracle if he's going to take back the lead. Further back, Billy Bolt is still performing well. He's had most of the best times at various checkpoints throughout the day. He guides Alfredo Gomez up the rolling Kiwi Hill. Gomez is now in third overall. He's almost gained a minute on Wade Young. The South African rider is determined, but Gomez won't give up that easily. Young gets the best time at checkpoint seven, but is it enough to reclaim third? Boys are just making a little ticky tacky. But you can see the tree roots are really hard. Nice work, man. Ahead, Manny is full gas. But he bites it on a straightaway. Jarvis comes from behind. How much time will Manny lose? Jarvis climbs a winding staircase through an abandoned building towards the finish. Len Bickler is right behind him. It's been five days of vertical madness, over 20 hours of riding, over 35,000 meters climbed, and although Graham Jarvis crosses the finish line first, he can't close the gap. It's Manuel Lettenbickler with the fastest time overall, taking his second Red Bull Romaniacs win in a row. Now the question is, who's going to come out on top in the battle for third? It's Alfredo Gomez finishing a mere 13 seconds ahead of Wade Young to claim third place on the Romaniacs podium. Amazing, you know, like where it's been just such a crazy year, you know, and Graham, that's unbelievable how fast he's going, but we are really, really happy that we got the job done again. I'm really happy the way I rode. The bike felt good, I felt good. I'm 45 years old, I kind of keep, need, need to remind myself of that. But uh, Manny's rode really well and it's been really good fun riding with him and battling. And uh, it's been an awesome event. Here are the Red Bull Romaniacs' final results. Manuel Lettenbickler continues to reign supreme as the king of the Carpathians. G-Force Graham Jarvis is second, and Alfredo Gomez narrowly takes third over Wade Young. That's it from the 17th edition of Red Bull Romaniacs. Check back for all the epic highlights on Red Bull TV.